Well, I find myself in the top liner. <laughs> and I'm going to start. Yeah, it's really choppy. I don't think I've ever actually used this harvester in game. So it's kind of, this is the perfect farm for it because it's like really fit to form for this thing. <laughs> so I'm trying to get, once again, I like these smaller fields because we can get done really quick. How's everybody doing, by the way? Sorry, it's been a while since I've done a farm sim video. I haven't <coughs> been recording a ton lately because I've just been, you know, well, I've been junking out on Star Citizen. Invictus Week was a lot of fun. Um, but I also just have been having, obviously, some pretty bad allergy issues. So we're off stream until the allergies end, about another week or two probably. Um, but I've been, <laughs> I hate to say it, but I've been enjoying my break from streaming. Um, I'm not a born streamer. I actually prefer YouTube. I have a hard enough time getting my thoughts out as it is. <clears throat> then YouTube or Twitch just adds a whole bunch of distractions. So I feel like uh, I do a better job when I'm on YouTube and I just am more relaxed. But it's not a bad thing. I, I enjoy Twitch because everybody likes to hang out and talk. Um, and definitely for some of the games that we play, Especially the more multiplayer ones like Railroads Online, Star Citizen, for example. Um, games where we can play it together as a group. Uh, American Truck Simulator Convoy, Euro European Truck Convoy. <coughs> Those games work well on stream. So, um, I enjoy doing that with everybody because that you know, allows us to be together but also to, to you know communicate well and have a, a community time together do I own that barn across the street I don't think I do but let's try it out and see what's on here do we own this no we don't I was going to say that seems like a better place to put my harvester than the the back of the building where it is right now. It's, that building's actually going to cause trouble here in a minute. As you can see, my arse is going to be on the building. And so we are already halfway done with this field of oats. I have a feeling we're going to be able to get a couple fields <laughs> into this harvester before we have to unload it. I've got a friend that has a little 10-acre farm and uh, he's got a small harvester that he fills up every year. And <clears throat> he just puts up, until he goes to sell the product, he just puts a uh, tarp over the, the hole at the top because it doesn't have a covered one like this. And, um, yeah, and he just sells it. Like, maybe the next year he'll sell it. He makes soybeans. And he doesn't even unload until it's time to sell it. He doesn't even unload the harvester. He just leaves it in the combine until it's time to sell. I think that's kind of funny. Because let's face it, the combine kind of has a hopper and a silo inside of it. And then you got the auger to get the stuff out. And so it really is its own enclosed system. <coughs> kind of a unique thing, really. So... There's our new Holland back there waiting. This really makes me feel like I'm playing Farm Sim 15 again, which that's, a, that's not a bad thing. I, these smaller fields and stuff, like, it just... I got that vibe. Westbridge Hills vibe. They've tried to remake Westbridge, Hill, Westbridge Hills, but it's never the same. And Bjorn Home. What a great game 15 was. It's still... First one I played, and you know, I watched people play 13, but I was like, man, that looks like fun. 15 is the one that did it for me, and man, the graphics were still, even to this day, they hold up. It was a good looking game, they're much better now, but it was still a good looking little game. 
big game. Right. We are going to have to care for those horses. Horse. I'll take him for a ride today. After we're done doing the harvesting and feeding. That comes during the fun part of the day, which is the evening. We are going to need to get the straw off the fields. We've got a lot of chores to do today, so... August is always a busy month on the farm because we're collecting, we're prepping, we're also unprepping. We're harvesting, we're storing, we're mowing, we're rowing. All right, so I'm going to get this field done. I will be back momentarily. As you can see here now, I have, uh, and this is going to be new for me, so it's a learning experience. I've got my uh, precision farming turned on. And you can see my fields there are showing the levels. Um, but I think you have to wait until you've planted for that to really work. But does that mean my soil samples? That's like showing my soil samples? Because I haven't done any sampling on these fields. Um, but maybe they came with data on them. That's kind of a weird thing. I've never experienced it where it actually gave you a reading before you actually <coughs> did any work in the field. Pardon me. Um, or is that that's just showing me yield, maybe? It's showing me the 50% yield. We're right. It goes from 50 to 125, so we're at about... 80% yield. Yeah, there's no soil data. Okay, so that's just showing us the growth. So, that's... Hey, it's what the last farmer put in. That's not my fault if it's bad. I'm shifting the blame to somebody else completely. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fill this up. So we need to move on. The next field we're going to be doing is number five, which is just down the street. And then we have the one over by our sheep that also needs to be done. <coughs> Look at that lovely grain going in there. All right, so let's go ahead. I think that we probably can just go down there and get it. I don't think I need to bring that tractor down, but we do need the header trailer because I'm not going to be able to drive down that road without the header trailer so here we go take myself over there thank you my wife got me a nice big glass of ice water <coughs> you're working hard on the farm sometimes you need a good drink of water and a steroid pill so that your throat doesn't close up all right oh the mismatch in greens is going to bother me forever between the Deutz green and the John Deere green. That, that, ugh. And I was a little frustrated. As soon as I bought this vehicle, the shop got in a, a used Range Rover Defender 90, and uh, it's expensive. Like, they want 50000 for it. And this was only 20 something so I don't know. I, I thought about trading up, but... I don't think I'm going to do it. Plus, the John Deere is nice because it has the ability to put the fire movements on the back. And it's a little bit smaller. And honestly, even a Land Rover is kind of big for our roads and stuff here. So I think we're good. There we go. It should snap on there. Wink. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and drive over to our location in the harvester. Hopefully not hurting anybody or any trees or animals.
be the field up here on the right. Yep, there it is. Only a couple more days and Kubota is going to be joining the pack. That's going to be fun. We'll definitely be taking a look at those tractors. Like I said, I may replace the older Ford tractor here with a new Kubota. <coughs> Once the uh, dealership gets those in. <coughs> oh, yeah, we don't have to role play. <laughs> Just for fun. Um, all right, so I'm going to park this here. And let's find our, is our gator. I'll run about. Header is filthy. How bad is that going to be? Not too bad. Oh. Did you see that lag, though? That was weird. Top liner. We're going to hop up there. guy out of the way. Uh, that's not going to work. We're going to take him down here past the sorghum field. Once again, some of these fields I may decide to buy even before the season's over. Uh, we need more field space for sure. But I don't want to spend us into oblivion either. I'd like to start making back a little bit of money. So I might just wait till we're over 100000 before I start looking at fields. Come on. I just stalled it. <coughs> Come on, Arthur. You can run the harvester. There. And so we are on our way for the second field. And then I'm just going to have to find the third field. I, like I said, I think it's straight ahead and to the right. But we'll see. But in the meantime, our chicken and our horses will have oats. not the right way to do this, but <coughs> that's how I'm doing it anyway. All right. You guys have seen enough weed harvest or oat harvesting. I will see you once I'm done with these fields or this field as we move to the next field. See you in just a moment. All right. So I'm on the final pass here as I pull the rest of the, uh, the goods off the field and we have a nice 4,000 liters of oats it's not going to be enough I can tell you that oh I turned the map off yeah let's see bad yield on parts of this field this thing needs to be properly cared for we do need to get our little measuring tool out and um, get these fields measured so I'm going to have to rent an Isara called the scout or whatever it is and see if we can make that a little bit better la, 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 la. <whistles> dawn we now are green apparel all right so let's go ahead and find out where the next field is okay, that's all I can 
That's the biggest turn I can make with that trailer on. That trailer really restricts movement. There we go. Ta-da! Put it on there perfect. I aimed perfectly. Now the hopper is still full on that, so we won't be able to close it. Let's get into safety mode so people don't crash into us as we drive down the road. Yeah, this thing's been handling it just fine. Once again, you could also probably pop in one of those little uh, Antonio Carrera tractors if you wanted to do that instead. But for moving the headers around, this works just great. I think that's the road to our farm. Yeah, it's the main road up there. <coughs> this is the main road in town. buy some. Hello, crows. Call, call. And here's the back end of things. And yep, there's our littlest field right there. And man, is that a tiny field. It's kind of almost worthless. I'm, I'm thinking if I could buy one more bigger whoa, yeah, these people around here. One more bigger square field. I might just either sell this plot of land or turn it into grass. Like we could use that for mowing for the sheep. It's just, it, first of all, it's a long way to be maintaining a field from our house. So grass would be more practical here. And secondly, it's not very big for, you know, the crops that we're growing on it. It's just not enough field space. So, I don't know. But for this year, that's what they did, so that's what we're going to do. But, all right, I'll be right back. All right, cruising down the main road. Surprised they haven't been whacked by traffic, but they're they're slowing down. Crushed in here. Ugh. Run some bushes over. Don't hit those containers. This is so tight in some of these areas. This farm is really a small farm. Like in some ways this harvester is almost too big for this farm. Alright, move this up. Scraping. There we go. Conflict of interest. All right, so let's go and get out of the way and get this thing running. Once again, we should have this done lickety split because it's really a weird small field. Though maybe I don't know. Maybe when you stretch it out this way, it's the same size. It just it's small. Like I said, you can produce a lot more with grass because you can get three harvests a year off of this with grass. So I don't know. We'll see what we do. But <coughs> also, you can see here our yield is not great. So that's no good.
But the weird thing is that, like, I don't think we're going to be making a lot of profit off of our crop. Because, once again, most of it is going to get fed, I think, to the animals, it seems like. Actually, I know where to turn around down here, so we're going to do it European style. Just back the harvester down and get another gulp. <coughs> once we have two of these, we can gulp a little bit down there, but... I've seen guys do this on these tight fields in Europe before where they just back all the way out and do another strip and just they don't they just do it one way like this the whole time. So bumpy field there. You can see the harvester pitching over. Jeez. Things will got ugly. Things got to be ugly. Once again, here we have a spot where we can't really turn around, but because I've cut down here twice now, I can start making this. And now we should be able to go up and down the field for the last two passes. <laughs> Get this little segment cut out here. And now I have access to my little path. And we can put this down. I think it's going to be three passes, but that's all right. Other good crops to grow here would be sugarcane. Potatoes and or sugar beets would work. Any of those root crops where you get a lot of crops in a small space. Um, but like I said, I don't, first of all, we don't do root crops. I don't have any way to harvest them. And secondly, um, we don't really need them for any of our animals. So, so there. So I am going to pack this up and take it home. We've got almost the full harvester, so that's good news. It was, uh, I want to say, eight, about 8,000 liters of product, which, you know, I don't, I don't think that's going to be enough to feed our animals all year. The horse takes a lot. I don't know. We'll see. We need, we're going to have to do more hay than oats. Let's get this on here. There we go. And so our harvest is pretty much over with now. It's just a matter of getting our equipment back to the barnyard safely. And getting that that uh, harvester unloaded into the New Holland tractor. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to do that. And then we'll... Distribute some of the food out. I'm just trying to think of... I almost feel like I want to buy a smaller... Like a little trailer, like a mini trailer. 
Something that'll work with this. That won't just dump like a ton of material into the cows. These guys are being good about letting me through with this huge header. Thanks, folks. And this road should cut back. <laughs> Show them the sheep. <laughs> they got. Uh, I need to get a washer for the farm, too. Oh, we do need to do that sooner than later. That's going to bug the crap out of me. How dirty everything is on this farm. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Ugh, so close. There we go. Up and over. <clears throat> As you do on bridges. And... Was the header trailer? I think it was just parked in the barn. Yeah. Get this backed in there, nice and neat. are gently lowing yay in the field moo all right so let's get the rest of the wheat off the field Thankfully, this farm, ha farm has, like, a lot of road access in the front and the back. Like, it's not just, like, a little bit here, a little bit there. It's got a little bit everywhere. There's our access to our grass field right there. But we're not headed there yet. Will this work? I'm thinking this might be a good spot to receive our grain. All right, so I got to run over and get the toits. I'll be back. See you guys in a second. I'm surprised this rickety old bridge holds up this harvester, but it's a little scary. But it does. Ugh. You can see there, lots of lots of oats harvested, which is a great thing. A hopper and a half full, and when we actually tend to the fields the way that we're supposed to, it'll be even more than that. So I bet you we'll get two full trailers easily, uh, rather than one. And I mean. Uh, we need to increase our production, so we need to do a better job with our field care. All right, so that's that for the harvester for the year. Seems like overkill, but it won't once we get the farm up and going and we have some more fields in play. Uh, but for right now, this harvester is a little bit of an overkill for the the 10 minutes of harvesting that we actually needed it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and grab our trailer. Close this up. And uh, put these into storage. Let's see here. 
that's the facility right there to the right, so we should be able to get in there and unload this. Overload the oats. Now, I'm interested to see if this silo holds straw. If it doesn't, we're in trouble. Um, but I'm hoping it does. I, th I think it will. Oh, Lord. We need to make sure we have these set on side tip. Um, let's see. Unload here. Start filling. Uh, close cover. Tip side. Green door. Left. Okay. Left. There we go. There we go. And this will not get stuck like the other one did. Tip siding left. So we have about 14,000 liters, maybe a little bit less. But that's not so bad. And once again, I need a little animal feeding wagon. I love the new noises these wagons make compared to the older versions of the game where they actually, you hear them thunking and clunking as they lower and raise. All right, so we're done with that step. And so now we need to go ahead and I'm going to grab the John Deere and we're going to go take a look and see if we can't find a little feed trailer. We get the horse fed. Well, partly fed. And we're also going to part or feed the chickens. So let's run to the shop. <clears throat> get a little feeder wagon. I'll be back. And so I called them, and they had exactly what I was asking for. You get this little miniature feed trailer. And so we're going to use this to feed our chickens and our, our horse. And just daily, we'll check up and see how they're doing. You know, the only thing that stinks is, like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to sell any of our oats. So our profits are really going to have to come directly from our animals, which I don't know. I don't know if we're situated in a position where that will actually happen. <coughs> if there'll be a profit, said profit will probably be small. But we're going to do the best we can to be good carers of our animals and feed them the right things so that they are producing for us. Once again, I don't I don't think we own this field. Yeah. Some dude named Sam owns that field. Rain into our cart and feed our little chickens. So we had 12,000 liters of oats, we now have 10. This is going to be the chicken feed. Hopefully, the horse, he smells it. <laughs> Horses, of course, love feed. I mean, personally, I love feed, too, myself. I, I like being fed. Hmm. 
They seem to be ignoring my advances. Do these chickens not take oats? Food says. So all it says is food. That that area is where we pick the food up. Is there a tip side issue? Maybe chickens don't eat oats. I could have sworn they did. But maybe we just got stuff. Well, let's take a look. Animals. Chickens. Uh, wheat, barley, and sorghum. Yeah, oats are not on that list. That's going to be an issue. But that means the oats can all go to the horse. I guess that's good. So we really are going to have to find a wheat. Or remember, like I said, that sorghum field. That might be where we go to get food for our chickens for the year. But unfortunately, until then, they're not going to be producing anything. So I'll, go, I'll think about what I'm going to do with that. Wolf, wolf. So the oh, these are the oats for the horse then for the day. And once again, with one horse, I would think that would fill up his needs. But once again, we have a, a different system than we used to have. So I don't. I got to figure out how to do this because yeah, see, base food and hay, and you can only have up to a certain amount. So we can. Fill. No, I don't think that's how it works. I think, no, I think what it's saying is, as long as you have base food and hay, the base food is sixty percent effective. That's what it says. You have to have yeah, oats. but it doesn't have to be six. You could have ten percent oats and eighty percent hay and still get the full effectiveness. That. So, but that's a little confusing too at the same time. I'm going to give him one more trailer full of oats. Bonk, bonk. Now we have 8,000 oats. But once again, this should be this should last them for several months. Uh, and once again, I'm trying to get enough oats in here that we have an, an entire year's worth. So now we have to figure out how to feed our chickens. Bok, bok. The cows are not a problem because we have plenty of grass. The horses are going to need some hay, too. Cows and horses need hay. Actually, a sheep, too. Man, this is going to be a challenge. All right, so how's the horsey doing? Good. She's not dead. <laughs> was it dead? <coughs> that horse is dead. So let's see. Silage. So I don't know that we're going to be able to get the cows. So this is our dilemma. I think we need to buy... One more grass field, and we need a field that has. Some kind of chicken feed. So I think that's, you know, obviously going to be wheat, barley, or sorghum. I don't think the sorghum is going to be ready till tomorrow, so we're. If I can. I'd prefer to get wheat and barley now because we can go harvest it today and get them fed and get them started producing on eggs because once again we need the money it was good everything's good 
There were two baby bunnies in there and Petra, the big bunny. And they were like looking at me, looking at each other, kind of doing like bunny things, like what bunnies do, like hop, that kind of stuff. No. Bunnies don't talk, they just look. So this field's a good candidate. This is a nice big field, too. Very open. So, Fritz, how much are you asking? Fritz is asking probably two more than I can afford, but... <coughs> um, he's asking 56000 And that calculator is saying, I think what I'm, if I'm reading that right, it's saying it's worth... 90 if it's done properly. So that's good. But that's a lot of our money. Um, and I can tell just from looking at these, these are not the right types. Crop, we got sunflowers over there. Well, the chickens might have to wait till tomorrow or even the next day because we got sorghum online here. That's soybean. They do not eat soy. That's a nice big field, though. What about through the woods here? We've got two and one. What do we got going on back here? Splash our way through the water. It, nope, this field's already done. That does us no good. We got growing here. This is grass, yep. Yeah. But that's a long way from home. Mm. Boy, nobody grew wheat or barley this year. What the heck? That field's already done. Bit of an issue here. So I really, I'm kind of stuck. It seems like sorghum's going to be the one field that we can really afford. And hoping we get enough grass and all that other crap off the other crap. Off the other fields. Uh, because of what we already own. Because I don't think we're going to have enough to buy both. And I don't think this is going to be enough sorghum to feed the chickens for the year. It might be. Well, we only have ten chickens. It's not like we got a million chickens. But it's a very low chicken number. Um, let's take a look and see what it says field wise hi violet so this has it's $51,000 man oh wow these are expensive I thought they'd be cheaper how much is this grass field 35 that's a little bit more I can afford that. Soil distribution. 22. <laughs> Where are these? Let's see. I've got 33. This value is worth 33. I could, I could sell this field once we get the straw off of it. And buy, because this is 51, that would make that worth more. Let's see, 51. What is that? That's a lump of woods. 13,000. I don't I don't really. Oh, that's where that barn is. Um, that one's 100. That one's 56. Oh, they're just, there's, that's, once again, it's a very small map. There's not a ton of land available. 78. Um, so we're looking at this one, this one, and I want to see real quick, <clears throat> that one that I looked to our left, that was 22, let's see, this might be a cheap solution for our grass issue for now. That is a really small field. That ain't going to be worth it. 
Uh, okay, well, so I gotta do some creative thinking here. Um, I think we are going to end up selling that long field in the back corner and putting that money towards a grass field. And we do need to buy that sorghum field, so. Let's see what we can't come up with creatively. But um, I'm going to get the straw off that field, and then we'll sell it. Uh, I do, so my goal is to get this field here and that sorghum field. But I think we need to get the materials up first before we do any big moves like that. Because the sorghum's not going to be ready till tomorrow anyway, so... Uh, let's get the, I want to get the cows fed. I want to get everybody fed and see how much food we have left before I spend $50,000 on a field because that will really put us into bankruptcy. We could take a loan out for land, but once again, I'm trying to avoid that if possible. So we might just have to organically grow and see how we do. The other option, once again, would be to plant grass on that backfield, number 33, and then just buy the sorghum field. And then we have one new field, and we also have our, our grass field available. So let's go ahead and park this here. And I'm going to go ahead and get the cart running. And we're going to start collecting straw off the fields in the next episode. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you had fun here as I'm kind of deciding what to do. There's a lot to figure out and a lot to maneuver around um, if we're going to make this successful. But we got to get these animals producing as quickly as possible. So anyway, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And we'll see you next time on Froiling 22, a map that I'm very much enjoying. See you guys next time. Bye.